Many LSU students live in areas where they must use highways and bridges daily. This means that the traffic that accompanies this makes travel to and from school very difficult. No matter what time, I would always get stopped for like 30 minutes or more. Um, it was bad. <laughs> The Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development uncovered the truth behind the complaints about traffic through a study where thousands of Baton Rouge residents participated. What we're trying to do is gauge how much public support we have or don't have for widening I-10. According to the DOTD, the amount of people traveling across the I-10 bridge went from 88,500 in 2010 to 102,500 in 2013. We've seen an increase in our uh, like weekend traffic, our non-peak time traffic, and we don't have the stats for sure, but we believe it's because more people are, have the freedom to travel. Because of this increase in traffic, Baton Rouge residents are calling for a change, and they came up with a few ideas. I would say either adding another lane or another bridge because if there's an accident or something gets blocked, it blocks the whole bridge for hours. Building a bridge is actually part of the feasibility study. In order to build one, they not only have to have the funding, but they also need to find the right location. We've seen a lot of improvements across the state. There are still a lot of work to be done. I think everybody knows that. But we need to go in thinking that we can do it. Now the DOTD is calling for the support of the Baton Rouge community as they take on this new project. Laura Saboniquisi reporting for Tiger TV News.